G Talks Podcast. We got to get another one in, another one in, another one, man. This is G Talks Podcast, yeah. episode two. Yeah. Good, what's good, what's good, what's good? We got another hot episode out for you today. You know, uh, while we just talking, you know, last couple days, thinking about some hot stuff to lay out to y'all. Uh, we want y'all to know that behind the scenes, we're working hard at this podcast yeah. to deliver you the best in quality, sound, production, Completely. at a professional, professional pace, all yeah. right? Because we were going to put stuff out every other day. It might be every day. You know what? We're going with the flow. And we're going to go with this as far as it takes us. Um, our topic of today is a hot topic, see? Because we're freaking like this. We got to stay on that hot shit, all right? And um, a hot topic going around today, what, what I want to talk about is addiction. Right. Addiction. <laughs> Biggest thing in America. Addiction. Yeah. Now, the definition of addiction is the fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance, thing, or activity, or activity. Yeah. It's a noun, too. It's so a noun. That's like you're addicted to anything. You can be addicted to anything. Hey, very true. Um, it doesn't all, have to necessarily, not to cut you off, it doesn't have to necessarily be a drug. Yo, that's also true. We're going to touch on that in a minute. You know, now, from an OG perspective, addiction, guap, right. you know, when I think of an addict, you know, I think about the 80s when crack hit the streets. Mm. And right, you was in that era. That's your and, Yo, and it had everyone and their mom sucking dick for a, a little bit of coke. You know what I mean? That, that's just keeping the real people. That's what they were doing. Legit. You know what I mean? I mean, me growing up, I saw a lot of women that sold their bodies for dope, things like that, because of an addiction. So when I think of addiction, I think of those points in my life where I saw that type of stuff and was like, wow. You know, so then I look at addictions like drugs, you know what I mean? Drugs to me, drugs to me is one of the top addictions out there that's really destroying people. And I know there's other addictions out there that are even worse. And we're going to touch on that as this podcast goes. But, you know, from an OG perspective, um, addiction is your worst enemy. You feel what I'm saying? Like addiction can take you to the point of being someone that you weren't meant to be. You know what I mean, Guap? Yeah. Like, like, it, it, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, if you're a calm, gentle, meek person when you're sober, right? And then when you do some dope, all of a sudden you're a rock star. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then when you don't get it, you're a cock star. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, because you're going to get that no matter how. And I'm not laughing That's at that. That's weird, though. Addiction is serious, so I'm not laughing at that. I'm just laughing at the fact that that came together like that. This is my question, because I don't know everything. And this is my question to this shit. It's like I seen, you know, I came across people to where people like, you know, you know, I tried every drug before, and very successful. Successful people, not as an addict or nothing. They just had experiences. Then I had certain people that tried it one time. Right, right. Yeah. And it was over. It yeah. was like it was like it was in their genes. It was like a genetic thing. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. So you hold on. Now that's interesting, right? Because you know nowadays doctors try to tell you. And see, my girl, you know, she my girl, right? Go out, my girl reads a lot. Yeah. So she reads a lot of medical stuff and she stays up on the stuff. I'm not knocking her. So I want you, baby, if you're listening, I'm not knocking you, because I I'm listening to you. But you know, doctors say a lot of stuff. Well, this is good for you, that ain't good for you, or whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So, some of this could stem, addiction could stem, and not necessarily drugs, but as an OG, I, I'm thinking of my memory of, a, of an addiction, not me, but when I think of addiction, what mm -hmm. comes to my mind and my, and, and my thought process is someone addicted to drugs. And now, what you said was a very good point. It could be in your genes. So what you're saying is... You could be caught and not even know it. Not even know it no. before you was even... Like, as you was in the womb. Yeah. It was already into your DNA pattern, oh. you're saying. Okay. I could see that. You know, there was an old saying, like, you know, he's just like his father. You know what I mean? Right. Or, you know, 
chance. If, for instance, if, if you know, there's a good chance if you pop beat women, you might end up beating women. Now, yeah, there's a chance that you won't because you might not have right. liked seeing that. Right. But odds are you'll probably be like your pop if you were raised in a dysfunctional situation. Or if your pop or your mom, let's just, let's go both genders because it's both genders. This addiction, addiction isn't a racist. And it doesn't pick genders. It's everywhere. But just, every, you know what I mean? Yeah, just think about the corporations. Just just think about everything banking on addiction. Mm. To the rehabs, well, to the doctors, oh, to the oh. clinics, to the just just the, to the therapists, to the drug court, to the Ooh, yo, just think about everything money that on money makes on a money. round right. of addict. Right. Biggest but, thing. Well, you know, that's up for another topic soon. It's going to be a podcast on the medical system. See, because we could break this down. Biggest drug dealers. Well, yo, world. look, they're all hand in hand. <laughs> they're all hand in hand. Remember, don't nothing come in this country, it's right? Corrupt. Don't nothing come in this country unless we really want it in this country. In fact, one of the biggest dope dealers I heard was one of our ex-presidents. But I'm going to leave that there for a minute, all right? Mm. Leave that there yeah. because we're not going to get too political today. We try not to get political or religious. You know, we we might walk on a couple topics, right, Guap? Right. But we walk around. You know what I mean? If it, we want to keep it real, because we we're not here to preach to you. We're here to tell you the truth and what we feel about it. And remember, these are opinions, folks. Yo, yo, Guap. You know, millennial. You know, that's all I hear now because I'm OG. So all I keep hearing is millennial, millennial, millennial. Okay, Guap. What's the millennial viewpoint? On a dick, all right. As a uh, as an OG, I broke you down my visual to addiction and my viewpoint of what I've seen and how I can um, understand. You know how I look at addiction is what I saw, mm-hmm. which was drug addicts. Now in the millennials, what would you think is a millennial viewpoint on addiction? How do y'all look at addiction? Um, what would you say is addiction? Since 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 we went on the um, definition of addiction and when you said that just to bring it back you said right 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 you said being addicted to a particular substance thing or activity okay now we could talk about drugs we could talk about everything but let me just hit on social media real quick like mm, just with my yo. generation like, oh. Yeah, right, millennial. Come We're on, talking man. about millennial. What's going on? What's what's how's my generation suffering? Cool. How's my generation suffering? Cool. I'm gonna keep it real. The timeline. Scrolling oh, down that the timeline. Line. Yo, that timeline. <laughs> hold on. Oh, hold on. Me personally. Bro, so we hold on. We lacking. So wow, the timeline. Now, I know we got millennials out here listening. Look, I'm not <laughs> knocking you. I'm not knocking you. I got love for millennials. Right. I think every generation has to make its impact on time itself. And this is your time to shine. So millennials, you know, on a side note real quick, shine, shine. This is your time. Now, you're saying the timeline, though. Me personally, it's, Facebook it's, not, it's, not, it's not all the way. I ain't going to say all the way to the timeline because I feel like I grew up, bro, where the first computer was made. Uh, it was made in the yeah. 80s, but it was perfected in the 90s. Like Not, late 90s, in school, late 90s. Late like, 90s. I was, the internet I became was born boom. in 91. Boom. You know, like, it was just like, you yeah. just had so much technology just advancing yeah. at a yeah. time. You know, it was just like, yeah. deep to me, bro. Like, and just seeing how my generation and how it was affected, it's not like, you know, OG told me, bro, it's not how you look up, how you... Look up shit. It's how you use the internet. You know, I I, I use the internet to look up like holographics, you right? Know, right, knowledge, right? Knowledge, not like learning. twerking. You know what I mean? You sure you not ain't in like... that porn up at night, mo? Come on, mo. You ain't in that porn. <laughs> Maybe some up. nights, mo. Maybe <laughs> on that some lonely nights, late mo. night. Fuck that next night. <laughs> nah, I'm only playing. Like, Go ahead. Nah, man. But um, you know, it's just that's just how it is, man. Just like the advancements of our technology, man, just pushed our whole mind frame down on my generation, man. I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Do you think, now, now question, this is real shit, is that helping or hindering your generation? I say both. How so? Because now cops ain't getting away with killing us. Killing people. Well, why? Okay, okay. We why? Why? Because y'all are recording them. now. Yeah. Y'all are, okay. Facebook. All right, good point. Good point. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. And now Facebook is actually getting to the people before the news is. Oh, shit. 
Like shit. I knew, do you know? Yo, I knew about that mad shit. Right shoot. Not, to, not, to, not to talk about what episode one we were talking about. Do you know? It's, it's, it's pertaining to this. Do you know? I knew about that mad shooting on Facebook. Well, on yo, yo, but Facebook, yo, even to keep it with that shit, dog. Check this shit out. Facebook, no. Look, listen. You ever notice that when you be like searching shit and you're not on Facebook? And I'm like looking up this top radio and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. And all of a sudden, you go into your news feed and you see advertisements for the same shit. Yo, same man, shit. We're being watched, man. Watch out, y'all. Don't be doing no shady deals on your phone, man. <laughs> you know better. But you're right, man. Social media has taken over. And the internet isn't tomorrow. It's now, people. Yeah. The internet is now. now. We're here on the internet. I can I think can, about. I it. can talk to. I can talk to somebody right now in China. Bad legit. Shit. Legit. Legit. What's legit. up, Holmes? What's legit. up with the rice? Legit. So 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 we're looking. <laughs> we're looking. You know what I mean? What's up with that yen, Nick? Um. <laughs> All right. I'll discriminate. You know, Matt. Me, me neither. You know what I mean? Um, you know, we got some jokes. <laughs> but, yeah. but overall. Um, I guess that's the point right here. With the internet, I, I see that. It is an addiction. I'm going to tell you what. The internet has many avenues of addiction that you could get into. You know what I mean? Um, you know, Correct. Now, there's a lot of other, uh, you know, uh, addictions that we can label. You know what I mean? Because I feel it's like, okay, even with the definition that we gave. You ever heard the old saying, and it's biblical too, um, too much of something isn't good for you. You know what I mean? Isn't. It ain't. So we can break down addiction in all types of ways, forms, or fashion. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of feeling like, all right, for instance, sex is an addiction, right? right. And, 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 and it's even worse of an addiction now. But first of all, prostitution is one of the oldest jobs ever in America. What's a pro oh, yeah. prostitution? Yeah. There's, there's always been hoes. Right. There's always been hoes, but at same, the same way porn, right? <laughs> but there's always been porn. But with that internet, right now you have accessibility yeah. to these addictions, yeah. right? Because I was joking saying you was watching them late night porn shows. Nah, I'm gonna keep it but, G though. You know what I mean, you know how I first learned how to roll a blunt? How? Not not from an OG. Not from you know people. Not in the hood. Around. See, I learned from an OG. I used to. Yeah. I YouTube that. That's some shit. How to roll a button. Yo, Guess who was on that's YouTube? That's some shit. Guess who was on YouTube? YouTube. Oh. Motherfucking Tupac. <laughs> Listen. Tupac. Tupac showed me how to All roll a All eyes on me. Me. <laughs> Listen. And it's just deep, man. You can look up anything. How to. Mm. Wow. <laughs> With an addiction that went to the, the next level, basically. That's what you're saying. And you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, think about other addictions. You know what I mean? Some people are addicted to power, right? Yeah. Some people always got a, 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 or are addicted to control. You yeah. could be addicted to a lot of stuff. You Shopping, know I mean? all type of you, shit. You ever see those 800-pound people that never leave the house? <laughs> Sitting in the bed like... Hoarders! <laughs> oh, that's mine! 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 <laughs> Sitting in that bed looking like Jabba the Hutt. Yo, stop eating. <laughs> um, but they're addicted to food. Yeah. I mean, I'm not knocking them because sometimes that's mental illness too. And I'm not going to laugh about those type of things. But, you know, we're joking. We're joking, people. But there are all types of addiction. Eating can be one of your biggest addictions. You know what I mean? So, uh, cigarettes, right? Yeah. Cigarettes. Now, would you label mm -hmm. a cigarette as a drug? Or would you label it as, you know, just something else but that is addictive? Um, I would relate the nicotine, the chemicals they put in as an addiction. But I mean, I mean, just think about it. The Indians were smoking tobacco, peace treaties. Were they addicted? <laughs> Yo, man, <laughs> I think they were smoking that weed, though. Holmes. I mean, you know, we could think they were smoking some tobacco, but I right. think, like they say, that was that wacky tobacco, kind of like this. Here, take this. Yeah, man, you hit that blunt. You know what I mean? So like we are. But see, now, at the end of the day, you know, addiction attacks a lot of people in a lot of different ways. You know what I mean? So, you know, we're, we're going to talk over this in a little bit. We got a uh, commercial coming up. And um, guess what? We'll be back in a few. G Talks Live, baby.
My life story strictly business never blew my chance. Mom kicked me out the house when I was flipping. I'm the man. Put the boys on the street. Make them walk this beat. Teach them how to eat and to seek for peace. Son, I stamp this name Liverpool because I mean what I say. Bring the fake to reality and make them pay. Yo, these ghetto rhyme story got them scared to death. I'm trying to get the fuck out. See what she talks about Back again, back again, yeah, yeah, G Talks yeah, yeah. Podcast, man, episode yeah. two, man. So, OG, man, we was talking about some real good yeah, shit, man. Yeah, nah, nah, about yeah, we were. Shit. Yeah, we were. Because you know what, man? When you think about it, right, when you really think about it, addiction touches everybody. And, you know, when, you know, when you think of addiction, a lot of people, you know, yeah, you're addicted to eating, people are addicted to sex. People are addicted to those things, but some of the most destructive ones are drugs. You know yeah. I mean? When you really think about Completely. it. Completely. Right. Completely. And and it seems like the the world we live in now kind of pipes it up, right? Right. Remember the show The Jersey Shore? Yeah. Them kids was getting fucked up. <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> they getting fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? In the hair. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> So, but they was getting fucked up, you right. know, slouched out. Um, MTV, MTV had a show where, um, you know, they put teenagers, adults type, you know, 19 and up, 18 and up yeah. in a hotel, you know, in a place and, you know, they had their own little show and they was getting fucked up. I mean, you know, and we put it on TV and we make it seem like that's the shit to do. It started with making the band. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, did he? You fucked us up, did he? Give me that cheesecake, man. <laughs> Walk uh, that cheesecake, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, think about it, man. Like, as a society, right. we look at it, you know, that partying and then having a good time, like, that's what life's about. Yeah. And that's the thing to do. It, it, in Completely. fact, how, do they, how are they saying it now on Facebook? Now that we're, we were talking about the timeline addiction earlier, which, I, you know... I'm going to be honest, I don't post on mine. I just breeze down the timeline every day, like a news feed. Drinking yeah. coffee, I'm cool once or twice a day. That's good enough for me. But I keep seeing people saying, living their best life. <laughs> All right? So, you know, people think that... Living their best life. Yeah, living their best life. But, you know, people see that, that, that partying and shit on TV, and, they, and in the movies, and in reality shows, yeah. and they think, that's living your best life. Nah, that's living... Your most fucked up life. You know? Man, what happened to the to the apple pie, cherry pie, in yeah. the house, oh, mothers? Man, look. You know, Yo. glass of milk. Well, you need to drink it yeah. down, baby. Yo. Got yeah. milk. You know what I mean? Yeah. What, what happened? Because social media <laughs> fuck social, these moms up. Yo, well, really? now, yo, listen. Now you took it to that side. Now they so want to go to the club. You know what I mean? Yo, people, hold on. I'm gonna just pause this for a second, Guap. We, now, look, we're talking about addiction, but now we're going to go into the social media slant because that is a strong addiction. And, and you know, you're right. Like, okay, <laughs> ever heard the term 40's the new 30? You know what I mean? Yeah. 50's the new 40, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know who started that? <laughs> Them women that all hit 40. And all yeah. of a sudden, they're young girls again because that's social media. I've seen on the timelines, right, millions of pictures like, like, I don't forgot what you looked like yesterday. So you, <laughs> just, so you done took 10 more pictures. So on the real girls, and this is on a real, real, real G-check side note, stop taking so many pictures. Like, one picture a week is cool, but when you keep posting that, hey, they be addicted, <laughs> man. They be addicted. <laughs> Yo, addicted, man. And get addiction is See, uh, and look, look, everyone listening, now check yourself. See, because... Being a person, you can't judge nobody before you judge yourself. And that's real. That's biblical too, Gua. Yeah. Judge yourself first. Clean your shit up before Damn you right. look at others. Damn so right. this is a top. Like, I've cleaned myself. I don't even do... I don't practice. You know, they, they take them pictures, like, every day. Like, oh, just checking my car out. But it's a picture of them sitting in their car. Like, look, you ain't checking your car out. You're just taking a selfie and just want to put it up. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? You live in your best life. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Stop. Yeah. Y'all look crazy with that. But anyway, that's an addiction. That's an addiction. You know what I mean? Yeah. That that's it's a definitely, you know, it definitely that's is. an addiction because it got it got 40, 50 year old grandmoms out there in the club. Yeah. Living a <laughs> living a best life. Living a best life. You feel what I'm saying? 
<laughs> now, you know, and, and I say it's all popularized because when you look at TV, all you see is famous people dying from drug addiction. Let's really go down yeah. the list. Prince just died Damn. of a drug addiction, Damn. right? And, you know, God rest his soul, man. Prince made good music, can play every single instrument. Was yeah. one of the smartest human beings. And That's producers. And you could tell, you know, you know, you could tell when you're watching someone on TV or when they're, you know, not everything that glitters is gold, right? Nah, nah. But I know that you could tell who's real and who's not and who's good and who's not if you got a good discernment about yourself. You know what I mean? Mm. When, when you could pick up and judge people righteously and not in a bad way. But, mm. you know, he seemed like a cool cat, man. You know, Michael Jackson. He, you know what I mean? Died of drugs, man. We could cover it up all we want. Whitney Houston oh my died God. of drugs. Her daughter, too. Kurt Cobain. Even though she wasn't so lucky. Listen, Kurt Cobain, Nirvana. Shot himself, but he was addicted to heroin. He couldn't get off to it. Touch your topic, though, the, with the celebrity. Yeah, 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 let's, yeah. Let's rewind to Whitney Houston. <sighs> Ain't it crazy, like, how when you're a child viewing shit, just on the topic is her daughter. Yeah. Because her daughter yeah. died as well. Killed herself. Killed herself. Killed herself. Now, okay. It's fucking crazy, though. And, and, you know, I don't know the facts of that case where I could say she might have been addicted to something. Because yeah. that seemed like a sorrowful, sad Not the bad. I'm not bashing. I'm not bashing sad, what happened. No, no, no. Not by far. Just not to my far. viewers, I'm not bashing yeah, yeah. what not happened. Not at all. Not at, I don't at know, all. Not at I know the females is listening like, you motherfucker. Like, nah, yeah. Nah, you know, but, nah, nah. like, well, just, 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 yeah, drawing the That's parallel. Like, parallel. Like, how parallel. addiction can affect your family and your household as well. Correct. Correct. And that's what we see. We see it. So, and if it's given to us, you know, that could sink into you sometimes. You know what I mean? It become a part of you. Whereas though you glam you glamorize it in your own eye, and now you're doing it like they do it. So yeah. that's a dangerous thing. And you know, if you think about it, Guap, wow, right? And this is some real stuff. There's another yeah. side note. And I always side note because I want us to stay on topic, yeah. but I want us to know what's going on. You know what I mean? And yeah. think about Completely. that. Please. You know. What if the government, in certain situations, wants mm. us addicted to stuff? They want mm. us in this kind of situation, whereas though we're too busy fulfilling our needs of an addiction mm. to not even be aware of what's really going on. Mm. I mean, is that a, a thought that could be far from being true? Mm. That shit is just so deep, because when you think about it, man. Right, right, right. I think of, like... It, I do good. I do agree with you completely. Right, right, right. Completely. Like the first time I really thought the government was into addiction and into drugs in America. Yeah. Was yeah. when I heard about the story about Frank Lucas. Yeah. How he was putting you know bricks and heroin oh, yo, yo, in yo, caskets. Yo, 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 yo. And yeah. Military. Yeah, yeah man. Veterans. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Dead. And it started way, way back when. You know what I mean? And I'm quite sure. You know? That drugs have been on the street for a long time. And I'm I'm a firm believer. See, people are, you know, well, we'll get on this in a minute. But, you know, I just feel as though in these situations, a lot with the drugs, the government yeah. let certain stuff in. You know, like they flooded the streets with cocaine you know, mm. in the Bush era. Mm. Uh, when, he, when, it, when Bush was actually the head of the CIA. Mm. So if you do your homework, and these are facts, Pete. This isn't stuff that I'm really... Yeah. Taking off the top of my mind, because you know, like I said, the street don't lie, right? The hood don't lie, yeah. and some people know what the real deal is when we pay attention. You know what I mean? And uh, I heard a lot of shit, like just with the back to like agreeing, like going right, to topic right. with the government. Like I heard a lot of shit, like with the Black Panther movement, how that ended and shit, and branched off into the Bloods and Crips. How Bloods and Crips branched off from the um, Black Panthers, but. Um, the Bloods and Crips was the the drug dealers of the Black Panthers. Huh. They was the people dealing with the government. You know what I'm saying? So that was the, the government food. was pushing dope and crack heroin in the neighborhoods, and they didn't want it in the neighborhoods. They were trying to burn it. So they used people in the neighborhood Man, homes. They to had feed warehouses. The they had warehouses right, right, right. filled with so, heroin. So there's a bigger plot to this whole thing. And and look, that's a whole. And that branch, not to cut you. That, no, no, you ain't cutting me. That, that branch, that branch, that branch that came off from the Bloods and Crips, they was 
they was the money getters. Yeah, they was the hustlers yeah, of the yeah, black parents. Yeah, yeah. They was the motherfuckers that was pushing that dope, pushing that crap, that, said, it, that said the okay for it to come in the neighborhood. Because back in the day, there was no cops. There was, there was Black Panthers walking around the neighborhoods patrolling it. You well, didn't they, enter they their was, neighborhood they back was, in that day. They was pop. Back in that day. Yo. yo. Without them knowing it. Yo. It's me, deep. Well, it is deep because when you think about it, then the government opens up rehabs, the medical system. We talked about the medical yeah. system being some of the biggest drug dealers in the world because the medical system itself, prescription drugs, Things like that. Doctors. Doctors are drug dealers now. Because mm. doctors write scripts for them perks. All you listeners know what I'm talking about. Them doctors. Them coop doctors, they call them. On the low, you go in, say you got pain, and then you get them perks. You know what's the craziest thing? I've been, um, I've been around people that was in the drug rehab programs. And, like, they explained to me about these doctors that was in the 1920s. Yeah. And, um... How they already had the cure to addiction. And the government finally put it out in what? The 70s, 80s? Oh, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. And no they doubt, already no had the how to overcome addiction. These doctors well, knew. Well, hold on. Knowledge is power. Right. Right? And they made the NA meetings. So who These are the people that made the NA no, no, and the meetings. Because it's a controlled system. So then, basically, they're feeding you the drugs and then taking your money on the back end and saying... Let me put you on a drug rehab, right? Yeah. And then let me get you on another drug to get you down off the drug we fed you. By the way, now we're making this drug that can level you from that drug. This is the question we need to ask but, ourselves. Yeah. Is it help or is it wealth? Ooh. Ooh. Yo. Now is that's some real shit. Or is now it That's some wealth? real shit. Which keeps me on, you know, our last kind of semi point, yeah. right? Which is, you know, what you just said. Yeah. Is it health or is it wealth? Yeah, right? Completely. And we all know that money rules the world. We know that. We know that if you're broke, you really don't have too much to say about nothing. At all. At all. And the more money you At got all. is the more you can say. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Completely. So, as a person and as a human being, and I'm telling all my listeners, all our listeners out here, that... You got to free your mind. You yeah. got to free your mind. And as a person, <clears throat> and as a human being, you have to be on that next level, I'm going to ask questions shit, right? Yeah. Because to me personally, you're not going to give me shit yeah. and tell me it's steak. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Because yeah. shit is shit. In fact, uh, OG OG of mine, we'll call him OG OG. Uh, he's gone now. I, you know, rest in peace. And yeah. um, I, I'm going to tell you just like this. He used to say, if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, that motherfucking shit is a duck. So don't mm. be fooled, right? Mm -hmm. And another point is, don't get in other people's lines. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Make your that's own deep. course. That's, that's, that's some real shit. That's deep. There's a lot of people standing in lines when you don't have to. Yeah. Make your own line. Start a new direction. And do your own thing, which uh, the young people say, stay Start in your, your own lane, line. Right? Like, stop hating on the next person. Oh, yeah. That's what I hate. Like, like what I heard from the rapper Meek Mill. He says, never never look at your homie's pockets thinking you deserve it. Oh, no. No doubt. And no that's doubt. the issue nowadays. Oh, you already hey, know that. Everybody want a handout, man. Yo, legit. And I'm going to keep it real. You know, and I say it all the time. If you're not aware of what's going, going on. on around you. Right. People, you're sleeping. Yeah. Wake the fuck up. Wake the fuck up. Open yeah. your eyes and don't be that sucker. Because there's always someone out there mm -hmm. trying to sell you a bridge. Whole dream. You know what I mean? Trying to put that banana in your tailpipe type shit. Well, guess what? Not me, man. At so all. I'm going to keep my eyes awake. I want y'all to know out there... Um, it's been a lot of fun here at G Talks, talking with y'all. We're going to continue to try to give you more and more and more so that y'all can be entertained and be able to talk about this at the coffee table on Monday. Oh, Listen, remember, if you ain't keeping it real, you ain't shit. Straight like that. 
and this is G Talk Podcast, and we're going to keep giving you that heat. Just press that subscribe button for me and for all the family of G Talk Podcast, and we will appreciate it. All the way, baby, you have blessed day. The work calm for my struggles on the line. Watching all these niggas in the street for a while. Break it down, all them motherfucking dirt pumps down. I keep it real, you keep it to yourself and don't say jack. G-Talks Podcast.